what is going on guys welcome back to the channel good to see you all again let's talk about a few things we're going to look at the charts we're going to look at the ortex i'm going to show you something interesting and it'll put a lot of these hypotheses or however you say that word to rest about what the actual float is we're going to go over that and we will go from there so as always it's not financial advice I'm just here for your entertainment. Let's talk about some key levels. This is what kind of needed to happen today, right? The volume backed off finally a little bit. We said that there's going to be volume exhaustion. It cannot keep up that kind of volume day after day. At some point, it's going to start backing off. So we saw that let up just a little bit today, which is not a terrible thing in my eyes. Uh, it gives a little bit more time for price discovery, um, maybe not so much uh, high volume trading that's going on just in the fail to deliver, just stacking up and all of that fun stuff, right? We Why do we get ourselves into these kind of plays where there's just so much stuff that has to happen? I don't know. It is what it is. So be watching these two levels real close, and I'm going to tell you why I think they're important. Number one, watch our fib line down here at 30 and a half cents. We're watching for that for main support and to probably be able to make our judgment as to if we think there is still strength in this play to the upside right within a couple of cents is what we're watching for very bottom line baseline a lot of your people that have been here for a while and maybe are still sticking out the play that didn't uh, sell on the first run up you know at that point we start getting back into their averages and they're going to make decisions so if we fall below here i can see the the pain kind of kicking in in overdrive that's why that's key point number one key point number two we broke so let me zoom in just so that you can see exactly what i'm talking about we had our downtrend right coming here that we were able to break out of then we have our other downtrend that's kind of formed we can we can put it wherever you want to put it up here um, we were looking to break out of this downtrend right we got out of downtrend number one and then we've just been banging our head off having this volatility so far in trying to break out of downtrend number two right here is a very interesting spot and i think this is going to be a very crucial point as to if we do break the downtrend that it's been in and actually make a trend reversal so the trend reversal is what i want to see this is a pretty nice little setup right here in all honesty for um crashing through coming back in trying to catch that trend line that we've been using that we've been bouncing off of it seems like every day for some reason it gets touched um so we're trying to reclaim that right now kind of like the setup and i want to see if we can hold right so we're looking for 34 five and 35 and a half i mean it's going to get a little bit higher as time progresses into after hours and pre-market tomorrow um, but let's say we want to see if we can hold somewhere in that you know 35 to 36 range right now we are at 36.22 in post market that's okay um like I said, as long as we can reclaim this. So what are we looking for from the reclaim? We're going to want to start seeing some higher highs come in. Higher highs, higher lows, and start to see this trend reversal. Now, whether it can make its breakout, we've been getting our resistance around that 43 and a half cents. That, that fib line has just kind of been holding us down. Our trend line has been holding us down. And as we were doing the volatility back and forth trying to work our way out of here, obviously our highs were lower and our lows were getting lower. Um, so that's why this point right here right now is critical. Um, let's see if we can start creating a new trend to the upside and climb this without anything over our head coming down saying, hey, you're still in a downtrend. You are now getting into what could be a bullish territory right and that's what you're all hoping for if you're in here long you want it to get in from bearish downtrend to bullish uptrend so let's see if we can do that as far as our volume profiles go we do have a decent little gap right around 40 and a half cents which i think could 
could possibly pull us up to that fib line and maybe even up and above so not a whole lot of trading i guess in, as compared to what we see up here you can see on the volume profile and down here kind of not so much going on there so sometimes those gaps in the volume profiles they make for a quicker up or a quicker down depending on how we're going into them and uh, like I said, if we can get into a bullish formation and start working our way to the upside, then I think hopefully that little area between 41 and potentially 50 might be a little bit easier to get a quick up or a nice move. 50 cents is going to be psychological, which would make sense why we see that action come in right there. Heavy rejection point just from a psychological standpoint and probably from a protect you know the upside movement if the shorts are still fighting it which i do think they are we saw a lot of heavy volume coming in on those red candles today uh, trying to soak up the supply the best they can but again this is perfect right if if the if the bulls are ever going to step in this is where they step in the other thing i wanted to point out to you now we we've talked about the float and i told you ortex is going to change if the float changes so let's look right here on ortex outstanding shares 344.31 million so it's starting to update i already think that you know we've been working with this kind of float um it doesn't surprise me so uh, as far as the reported shorts go, that is going to change drastically. Whether this is accurate or not, I don't know. Time will tell. It doesn't mean that they all covered. It just means that we have a much greater float now, and the reported is probably still based off of what we had at the 32 million float, and they just downsized it. So they have not had the reported short interest as far as what the new float size goes and we'll see as days kick in whether they get some new updated information or not but um you know to go from 130 percent and we don't see it in the charts really down to what 60 percent or something yesterday and then down to four we know it was the float change that's changing these numbers so whenever you start seeing it floating around the internet saying the shorts covered, the shorts covered, well, maybe they did, but realistically, that's why you're seeing the skewed number is because the float updated and this number has not changed. It just did its math off of the new free float. So keep that in mind whenever you start seeing, you know, new rumors going around about the play you're in. I just wanted to jump ahead and explain that the best I could and get that out of the way. So it's saying 4.8% life short interest of the free float and still coming in at 14.71 million. I don't know. I feel like we're having a lot of selling pressure and that's a big float now that, um, you know, it's going to take more shares obviously to be able to short it down if they're, if we're playing with a larger float, then these numbers are going to have to pump up if the shorts are not, in fact, going to get out. So we'll see how that all shakes out. Cost of borrow still clocking in pretty high, 143.17%. So all good there. Um, like I was saying, I, I don't know. I, I mean, we were watching the numbers. Uh, I mean, some of your shorts could have been, you know, getting out. And then but here we know that they're not staying out. They would be getting back in, if anything. So it would make sense to see the numbers go down if they were getting out on the way up. But it would make sense to see them coming back in on the way down if they're putting that kind of downward pressure. But again, I think we're sitting at a very nice spot where it's very easy to make your decision, right? You you have your trend line drawn up. We already talked about that. And let's just see if it wants to carry on in the upward fashion from here. So keep your levels 43 and a half cents, 54 cents, 64 and a half cents, 78 cents, ultimately from there set a higher high which is going to involve the dollar which is going to be another psychological level that we would have to take out we'll see if and when that time comes there was also news on uh i think holding the price target i think was a dollar 50 from an analyst um 
you know, I always say it's nice if your stock price is lower than what the analysts are predicting, but it doesn't mean that it has to get there. Um, it doesn't mean that it has to stop there. Sometimes they can far exceed the analysts. Sometimes they uh, struggle to ever meet the analyst um, decisions. Ultimately, there are people with probably a little bit more degrees than what we have that get to sit down and talk about these things and come up with their numbers. But we can kind of do pretty much the same thing. It's just we don't have the degree, right? Like I'm not a financial advisor. I just tell you what I'm seeing in the charts. I tell you what I'm looking for. And then we go from there. So beautiful spot. Let's see if we can hold. Let's start setting some bullish signals somewhere across this field right we want to see some higher highs and higher lows and let's make some sort of new trend to the upside from here i will catch you guys in the next one i hope you had a good day in the markets the markets got their teeth kicked in if you were playing options i hope you were playing puts and uh you guys definitely made some money if you did so congratulations to anybody that was playing the downside in the markets today you know what i think that's also a good thing that we started off up what 20 25 percent if you traded in the pre in the pre-market then you were happy with today if you sat here and watched it all day you were not so happy but at the same time if we didn't start up 20 some odd percent i think today would have went a whole lot different for us and we would not be sitting right here at an ideal target so don't feel like it was a defeat we still closed the day off green and we are still sitting in a very beautiful spot so let's see how it all plays out i will catch you guys in the next one as always stay golden people and may your accounts stay green